Hello guys and welcome to part 17. In this episode I'm gonna take a look at some bug fixes unfortunately because I need to fix these before I get any further. And one of them we can see if we raise the max branches to two then we should get some more branches. But we'll see that there's a few things here happening. So if I set the self intersection to zero and we can see the issue here is that the branch I'm growing here on the second part is having a wrong scale. The branch is growing out from the middle. Uh, the main branch is okay, but the, the, the next ones are wrong. And that's because I have a max branch uh, length set to four. So I had this to zero or minus one it wouldn't uh, try and, and adjust this and I would get a ton of segments. But that's uh, kind of the, the idea behind this. So I, I made a little poo-poo here. And if we take a look at that first, we just close some of this stuff up here and take a look at the generate branch. Right, so the width when we make a, a new branch, we have this generate branch. When we make a new branch and we prepare the tree branch, then we get the branch width. And we get that by subtracting the width scale by the the end. And this is usually going to be minus one. So we get that and divide that by the number of segments that we want in this branch. So this is supposed to be four in the, the situation here. And it's supposed to be 20 for the main branch. That's the idea behind this logic here. But the thing is, if we step back again and scroll to the beginning here, um, we take that segments per branch. We take that and put that into the local segments per branch. And we don't do anything about it. So that uh, here we're going to have 20 in it constantly. We do the calculation here where we check how many times we want to loop. But we didn't alter this one, so that's kind of a um, thing I missed last time. So I'm going to fix this now, and I'm going to do that by copying this, and then I'm going to paste it up here, and I'm going to say the segments per branch here. Whoops. The segments per branch. That's going to go in here. And the segments per branch also needs to be replaced by this one. So we can get rid of these two. And then we can say this one should be set here instead. So now it's, it lo it's looking kind of like a mess. And we actually need to be careful when doing this because if we take a look at the order of these, these things, and we execute this part first, then we execute this part first, a second, and then third, this part here, and then finally all the logic. But the problem is we refer to this local branch level um, now at this point here, and we first set it here. So we actually need to switch some things around, otherwise it's not gonna work. I'm going to switch this over here so it's getting set first and then I'm going to do this afterwards uh, let me just get this connected up <clears throat> okay and then we can take now this and collapse it to uh, collapse nodes and just get uh, get segments per branch it's a good name. And we can simplify this a little bit because this is actually the same. So just click that one and this the, the B one. So let's go back again, see how it looks. So still kind of a mess now with the beginning here, but if you just you can you can hover the mouse over some of these and see where they go. So it's sometimes helpful to see where do things come from and so on.
anyway now we got that uh, settled um, that means that since we just took this a copy of this we can now and, and we set that to this local segments per branch variable now we can just use this one instead so we can move this stuff up here and connect it oops I'm just gonna compile and save and I'm just gonna see did I get everything here? All right, so let's see if this takes care of it. It seems like it, it already compiled. Yeah, so now we, we can see they are getting the correct size. They are not completely or way bigger than the parent it came from. So that, that was one problem down. So the second problem we're going to tackle today is uh, this one. So now I set the self intersection to 10 and we can see we have a, an issue down here even though i don't entirely understand why i decided to push this one out i don't think it should have done that i think it might be because i have a too big uh, trace volume in fact I've, i'm pretty sure it is but anyway the problem is still that um it's gonna collide with something and it's going to leave the branch behind so the way you can do this is to find the place where we render the tree we have the collision checking stuff here and this is where we calculate the push out position and according to the self intersection push which is 10 and then we adjust the, the lo local end so when we do that we don't do anything with other branches and that's a problem and what we can do and which I did the first time I tried this in a very quick prototype was to say whenever I did this stuff here uh, actually at this point here I would go ahead and enumerate uh, the entire tree uh, only the first point in, in, in each of the branches and see if the position was equal to that endpoint I was about to adjust and that will work and it's kind of a brute force way of doing it I think uh, so I'm gonna try and do a different thing which I just um, had this idea I'm gonna try again and instead of just enumerating it and altering the tree I'm gonna um, for now I am gonna create uh, kind of a, a what do you call it a translation table of some sort which will say if I find this position uh, in a first uh, first segment as a first segment in a branch then I want to translate it to this one if it was adjusted so I'm going to do that by adding, uh, did I already do that? Why do I have that? Oh, I made this off video. Yes, I prepared this. So this is the, this is the, the table or uh, the structure I wanted to create. So let me just do it. Delete. Yeah. Okay. Let me just do it again. Um, so basically it's just a matter of going to create a structure call this adjust point and adjustment point is consisting of an original point and a new point and that's it Save all. I have weird warnings down here. Clear log. Uh, okay. Yeah, anyway, so I'm gonna keep uh, keep a table of these points here, and for now, I'm just gonna do this as a local variable inside the inside the the render tree function. 
it might be worth moving it outside if I wanted to do manual um, adjustments later on. Uh, I'm not really sure. Um, for now, I'm just going to create here. It's fairly easy to change. So this is going to be a table or an array of adjustment points and that means that when we uh, come to this point point here we're going to add a new entry to this okay and what we're going to put inside this is first of all the new point which is uh, this one and the original point we just altered so I'm gonna insert a local variable for this local um, hawk and it's gonna be a vector and not a an array. So at this point here, I want to set it. Let me see. I want to get it here. And let's just set it if this trace is true. So that means I have a copy of that point, that original point, which I can then connect up here. I hope this makes sense. Okay, and that means I'm going to add this point to my array of uh, adjustment points. And then we're just going to exit. So how do we use this? Well, we have this point here in the beginning of the for each spline point where we um, find the local um, the, the, we pick the local end point if we adjusted it and if we didn't adjust it then we're just going to use uh, the point on the spline point itself but on top of that when you get to this point what we also want to do is to check if uh, we have anything in our adjustment points and if we find a point at that exact same point then we want to use that instead um, so I'm gonna do something like um, thing is we only want to check with this table if this is the first if this segment is the first one because otherwise it could be just a coincidence that they landed on the same spot and uh, but if it's a beginning point then we want to definitely want to check this so we want to have a branch here, so saying branch uh, and the condition got to be something like the segment index needs to be equal to, let's say it starts at zero, so it needs to start at zero. That's one thing. And if it does that, then we want to check. Otherwise, we just should just actually exit this and yeah, I guess use whatever, uh, use the same point that from here. But if we are at the first one, then we want to check our table here, or array, and do it for each on this. And we want to pull this one out, and we want to compare this with the original one we want to compare is this equal to this one so if this is equal then we want to branch and then we want to use that point here so at this point, I'm going to collapse this to a function. Um, yeah. 
select all of this and collapse our function and let's call this um, check check adjustment points And it shouldn't take this one, it should actually come from inside here. So we actually need to, this is a mess now. And we need to feed in a few things here. So it needs to get this local segment index for one. You might be wondering why I didn't use a collapse node, because that would allow me access to all these variables, but that's because I, um, uh, I kind of need to exit this function with different values depending on what we get out of this and I could really figure that out with a with a collapse macro so that's why okay let's take all of these out and let's build it up from the beginning it's kind of a mess uh, so we're gonna do this branch here and we have the variables here so let's give them some meaningful names so the a is the uh, um, it's a point let's just give it that and this is the um, segment index and this is our um, adjustment points okay so let's take the easy one first here I think this is pretty straightforward so if this is equal to zero if it's not equal to zero then we just want to return um, and what we want to return is the same point Let's give it a better name. Um, point. Then let's just call this like that. And if for some reason we actually need to connect this one up here instead, that was a bug, a mistake. So I want to check if they are equal, and if they are equal then I want to return already at this point and I want to take out the new point. And if I come down to this area here, then I just want to return actually the same. So I can just do this. So this should be pretty correct, I believe. Let's just check it. We got an error. Segment index need to be connected and adjustment points needs to be connected and then I need to connect this one and that should be it all right I think it worked we didn't really see it uh, if I just disconnect it again we can see what happens so if I just bypass this new function and compile and we see this one is left out there if I connect it up again, then we can see it's getting put in the right spot. That should take care of that as well. So, yeah, it's kind of difficult to do this stuff here on video. This 
debugging things because uh, I clearly did this before and uh, kind of hard to exactly explain what I thought when I, I did this bug uh, fixing. Uh, but as I said, I actually started out off by doing this on a with with a kind of a brute force uh, approach, and just enumerating it all the way from the beginning. So it was that was the first iteration of this. <clears throat> so this one thing more I can also just mention is that I added a new oops, new uh, variable called fresh branches which is basically just a checkbox. So it's being used to say, I have a um, minus 20, minus 20, whoops. Something like this. And let's say I just move it a bit around more until I get something I like. So let's say I like this form here then I can say freeze and then I can adjust maybe this one so it allows me to, to do some minor tweaks uh, with this after I get a, um, a, f a shape that I like um, <clears throat> So one thing you also notice here is that it's like we have some small holes in this and that's actually a thing I haven't sorted out yet and it's actually something that's kind of uh, driving me crazy because I don't really know how to fix this. I am pretty sure it has something to do with the fact that I don't set the role. Um, I do set the up vector. I set it here. Getting the vector from the, the local transform. I don't believe this makes any difference if it's in world space. I, let me just get to transform. Direction, local to world. No. Nah. It changes it a little bit, but still not good enough. So the way I went about this for now is actually just to do this. I mean, bypass it completely. If I bypass it completely, everything jumps into place. And what I will end up with is sometimes that things are going to get swirled around. Um, like twisted um, let me just unfreeze this one and scale up a little bit maybe something like that I'm of course not able to get it right now. I know for a fact that it's just a matter of moving it around a little bit and eventually I'm going to run into it. Yeah. It's freaking amazing. I would have sworn I had this several times happening to me. Why is it not happening now? Oh, here I have maybe a little bit. No. Not really. Hmm. Oh, let me just try and make these 
more extreme. That's really weird. I can't find a. Oh, here we have one. So you can see it, it, it's actually quite, sometimes quite difficult to get it. So I'm just going to freeze this one. And the thing is, you can see it, it's, it's twisted here. And if I now activate my set spline up direction again, then. It's not going to fix it. It's going to maybe fix it with the local. No. So it's not entirely fixing it. And even though it was fixing it, look at what happens elsewhere. So it's a complete mess now. So my conclusion was actually, I have no idea how this works. And I honestly just want to go with this for now because it's only happening quite rarely and I mean it's fairly easy to just whoops to I mean just uncheck this one and then move it around a few times and maybe I'll gonna get what I want from this randomness and uh, yeah so for now it's okay I think I still would like though to know how this works so if anybody watching this uh, have a good idea oh I have another issue here oh. strange hmm. okay so I guess that there's still a few bugs in this and to look at anyway uh, I think that was what I had for this video I can keep on bug finding uh, but I think this is pretty boring in the long run so I'm gonna be switching to something else in the next video I'm gonna take a look at some optimizations and some material stuff and what else did I have oh yeah and I had some I wanted to create some nice uh, branch sway swayness also because as we can see here we have nice wavy leaves but we don't have any wavy branches so I want to add that as well I don't want to rely on speed tree really so that's kind of the idea behind doing this in a way uh, so I have my own version I can play around with anyway thank you for watching see you in the next bye